Hello again, this is Justinas and in this video we will be looking further into the functionality of hydrostatics calculator for SOLIDWORKS developed by Floatsoft. If you just got here, check the link below the video to watch the first part of this tutorial. In the previous video, we covered the first two calculation modes of hydrostatics calculator. The next four modes are the so-called iterative modes. They allow you to run a series of automated calculations by iterating through a range of control values. For example, the iterate through draft mode allows you to check how the various hydrostatic properties of the hull changes in accordance to the changing draft. We can use this mode to build a commonly used statistic in naval engineering, the draft table. Let's see how the displacement changes when the hull is immersed deeper and deeper. In the settings menu, I'm going to deselect all the statistics except the displacement. Back at the main window, I am going to set the range of this iteration. Let's start at 0 meters of draft and iterate to, let's say, 1 meter, which would be about the half of the maximum draft. The step value determines the interval at which we want to see the results. Let's put 0.1 meters for the sake of this demonstration. And that's it, we are now ready to run our iteration. As you can see, Hydrostatics Calculator is populating the results table with our selected property, Displacement. Of course, we can select more properties in the settings window if we wanted to, there is no limit. Once the table is finished generating, we can select these results and copy as plain text if required. However, Hydrostatics Calculator also allows you to export these results in a comma-separated value file. This format will be much more convenient to use with software like Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice, which I'm using here especially when you want to store multiple hydrostatic properties in an orderly fashion. The iterate through displacement mode works much the same, except that now we, we must input the displacement values that we want to iterate through and the units are no longer meters but tons. Let's say that we want to iterate through 0 to 5 tons with an increment of half a ton. And in the settings window, let's select draft this time. We are ready to run our calculation. Since iteration modes can take a significant time to complete, depending on the size of the increment, an ETA timer will appear below the run button, which will indicate how long this operation is going to take. This estimation is very approximate, and the calculations can often finish sooner, especially if the learning algorithm has seen this hull in a similar scenario. We will cover the learning algorithm in the next tutorial. If the iteration is taking too long, or you realized that you made a mistake in your inputs, you can hold the escape key on your keyboard, which will abort the process and allow you to start over. The next two modes, Iterate Through Heal and Iterate Through Trim, are almost identical and allow you to iterate through these respective angles. For this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate the Iterate Through Heal, which we will use to build another well-known naval engineering piece of information, especially useful for sailing vessels, the writing moment graph. In the settings window, I am selecting the lateral writing moment. In the iteration range fields, we will input a range of 0 through 180, every 10 degrees. This is also the perfect opportunity to demonstrate how Hydrostatics Calculator allows you to view your results graphically. To do that, before you run the calculation, use the menu above the Run button to select which value you would like to display graphically. As you can see, only the lateral writing moment is currently available, because that is the only active calculation I selected in the settings window. If you want to put another statistic into the graph, go back to the settings window and activate it. Let's run this iteration now.
As you can see, upon the completion of the calculation, a window popped up with the writing bombing graph that we wanted. You can select any part of this graph and zoom in on it by left-clicking and dragging your mouse across the graph area. In addition, you can export this graph in a .png format. The iterate through trim mode works in a very similar fashion, only this time it iterates through the trim angles instead. The usage of this mode is completely identical, so I won't go through it again. This concludes the four iterative modes. In the next video, we'll be looking into the simulation mode, which is the most advanced and computationally demanding mode that the hydrostatics calculator currently features. Thanks for watching!